This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. The UNI Panthers get the 22-20 win over Youngstown State in the Unidome. It took a final drive, and the UNI Panther offense was able to put it together, put Tyler Sievertson in a winning situation. And Coach, uh, your senior kicker, you're okay having him in that spot. Yeah, it was a great uh it was a great deal for him to come back and make that kick after the South Dakota State one, and he got to redeem himself and, and get into next week now. Able to kick that five-game losing streak, a good Missouri Valley Football Conference win over a tough Youngstown State team that's ranked eighth in the recent FCS poll. Yeah, I knew Youngstown was probably the leading candidate uh, winning the league with North Dakota State, so I knew this would be a great football team and a great game that, that we'd be in. And, and uh, you know, to play that way and to play with the people that we were playing with, you know, the guys that did it, you know, they were, they may not have been the star names, but they did it against a, a very good football team. Yeah, a lot of new names that uh, came to the front for the UNI Panther football team. Let's talk about that final drive, though. Uh, the offense able to eat up over four minutes to set up that winning field goal. Yeah, uh, Breon made some great plays. Uh, Breon, uh, Evan, uh, Zach, uh, Crescent Cole making the catch. We got some third down situations. We had to make a throw, we did. So, you know, just pleased with the overall team effort. Uh, Tyler Sievertson uh, kicking the game winner, a 34-yarder, also good from 49 and 37 yards out. A good outing for him. That yeah, was a great day for him. The first one, we stretched it a little bit when we made him kick the 49-yarder, but, you know, he does that in practice, and we kind of know his range. And, and once in the, on the last drive, once we crossed that 30, I felt pretty comfortable that we were going to at least get a kickoff. Kind of a tale of two halves. Uh, the Panthers' offense, uh, good on the opening drive, and then a couple good drives in the second quarter, but ended in turnovers. The third quarter, though, you could tell that they had a little more confidence from those positive drives. Well, I think they, they stayed with each other. I think that uh, a big thing for me was that Breon, you know, he didn't get flustered. He, had, he, had, he didn't play a perfect game, but when he did make a, a poor choice, he didn't let that affect the next play. And then we started executing, and things started to happen and go in our direction, and, and we get the win. Brian Carnes leans the team in rushing, uh, does a great job passing as well. Was just making real good decisions out there. Well, he was. I thought I thought we had a good plan for him. I thought he executed the plan. I thought the players played hard for him. I thought the, the receivers made some tough catches and uh, made some plays for him to, you know, you need that when you have a quarterback that's just getting on his center. He needs to have some players make plays for him too. At running back, Evan Williams doing a real good job being that tough back. Zach Cutcomp jumping back over to the offensive side from the linebacker. Very unique situation. Very unique. He's unbelievable. Uh, took him from linebacker and moved him over to, asked him to go play running back on Monday. And uh, lo and behold, he ends up getting the yards that he got. And I, I, at the end, it was, I think it was the leadership he took over to the offensive side, being a captain and being, I think he, he brought that to the, to the offense, which when they had lost two players that were leaders on the team, he kind of filled that need that they had there. And just a big spark emotionally too. You could tell in the first half when he had a couple of big carries, you could tell the team started to just energize off that. Well, everybody likes him and we all kind of laugh because he's playing linebacker a week ago and now he's making catches and runs. And, and, uh, and he looks great doing it. He was running back his whole time here. And, and uh, so yeah, happy for him because you know he's, he's faced some stuff along, on, along the way and this gave him an opportunity to really have success. And did a good job at linebacker coming over from the defensive spot, playing offense. Speaking of the defense, coach, going to, up against the number one offense in the MVFC in this Youngstown State Penguins team, your defense held very well. I thought they did an outstanding job. I thought uh, that the defensive line Really did a nice job. I thought our coverage was good. We had some leaks, but this is a great offense. And uh, they got us on a couple of plays schematically that beat us, and they beat us by the scheme more so than the player. But they, they made some plays too. But uh, I thought we, we kept the run in check. And if we just could get them into third down situations, we'd always have a chance, and we did that. And it was a big team effort. Brett McMakin leading the team in tackles today. As re he's really surged the last couple of weeks. He's done a great job. I mean, he, he led our team in tackles, and I'm still going, really, because you know, two weeks ago he wasn't even playing. Now he's now he's a team in tackles. You know, against the number eight team in the country. So and special teams getting it done for you as well. A blocked punt and then right away uh, forcing a fumble on a kick return. Swung the game. The, the intercept by Jordan Gakey. Then you come back and get a blocked punt. And then you come back and get a, a fumble on a kickoff. I mean. It's all those players on those teams. If you looked at the names, you wouldn't recognize who they were, but they're out there making plays, and they're one, they're one play they're getting, they're making an impact. And a lot of those kids, young guys too, that'll be around the next couple of years. Yeah, that's what makes this one fun. It's, that's what makes this enjoyable, because there were, it, it took the whole group to win. 
Well, Coach, congratulations on the win over Youngstown State. The Panthers beat the eighth-ranked team in the nation tonight inside the Unidome 22-20, a game-winning field goal as time expired. Don't go anywhere. We've got more coming up here on Panther Sports Talk.